first and foremost, we'd like to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. We'd like to give double honors and, uh, to the apostles and elders who rule well, great millstones, salutations to the Akyam, who's doing this truth and sincerity, four corners of the round earth, and a shalom to the select number of Aqua. Listen, man, just like to get into, you know, a couple of the scriptures, man, you know, the current state of, of our people, man. You know, because we, our people are a part of prophecy. Everything that's going on before you is prophecy, man. But in, in order to carry this thing out, the Lord is raising up men, man. And if, you, and if you're a part of this truth, man, you really believe, man, you got to you gotta uh, uh, conduct yourself as such, okay? You got you got a lot of situations in America, man, from uh, what I was speaking about earlier, man, being, being brought, excuse me, being, being brought to this uh, country, man, and the way the men were treated, we weren't looked at as men. We were called boy, we were called uncle, because the so-called white man never seen seen us as a man. Yeah, but but then again, when it when it comes to anything, I don't give a damn if it's sports or it's academics, man. Jake, Jake is with the Lord's people, with it, you know what I'm saying, with the salt of the earth, man. You know, but it's, it's 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 more than just being put here on a pedestal in your damn captivity, man. Stand up, man. Like I say, I I uh I salute Colin Kaepernick, man. He see he's standing like a man. They they they, they mad because he's doing a peaceful protest, but but damn, you don't want no the, the, and that just shows you, man, the hypocrisy of this place. They don't they don't want the so-called black man, so-called Latino man, Native American man, stand up for shit, man. Hey, who made that damn flag? The East Indian Company or some shit? Over oh, a fucking flag? Yeah. Now white folks is petty. Yeah. And then and and then people started uh uh Stephen A. Smith went in on this too, and then it's well known fact the military didn't start uh paying the NFL. They paid the NFL to do the national anthem. I, I believe they I believe in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, correct me, you know. 2009, you started paying teams 5.9 million to salute. Wow, it's on a rocket. Makes sense. Yeah, we, we, we know we know people who served in the military who watch football games on Sunday. Never have I been in anybody's crib and everybody say, "Quiet down, let's salute." Put a flag on yeah. their wall hanging down. Yeah. yeah. If I may add then to that, uh, all you people complaining, y'all don't even know the full star of the Star Spangled yeah. Banner. You don't even know that. that. It's a third verse to it. Yeah. No, I'm talking about even without oh, the truth attitude. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the words of the thing anyway. You know, myself, I, I feel one. I feel 100 percent the same as this brother. But on that same note, I don't give a fuck about y'all affairs. I don't give a fuck about your flag. I don't care about Colin Kaepernick. I don't care about none of that stuff. If you're not out here pushing the truth, I'm really not just going to be all into your your you know your ins and outs. So as as he's standing up, you know it's whatever. I, I feel you. You see something wrong, but isn't that natural? Yeah, I'm not going to commend you for doing something that's naturally. You know what I mean? What we, well, if you turn around and get a shot, the brothers over there, get shots around. What we do is what I would like to say supernatural. We going above and beyond. We're not getting paid no money. We don't have no glory in this kingdom. We don't, there's no spectacular, you know, thing for us right. here in this world. We fully backed up. We don't have no affairs, no dealings with you people. Right. So you fighting over the idea of flag, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's right. I don't give a fuck if, if you, I, I probably wouldn't even notice if you changed the flag and it only had one star on it. I probably wouldn't even notice. Exactly. I don't have nothing to do with your dealings. Yeah. It's niggas getting shot. I see the niggas getting shot. Sometimes I'll be like, you know what? That nigga deserved that shit. I saw Michael Brown for a half second. I was like, that's messed up. Looked into the full story. That nigga needed to be shot. This nigga needed to be shot. It's a lot, guys. Oh, no, no, you good, brother. Can you get that for the fuck? No, it's a lot, guys. Ranting on. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Show yourselves men. Because like, 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 like we were going into earlier, man, this, this society don't deem the so-called black man, so-called uh, Latino, so-called Native American, a man. The, men, the men of our nation. But 
But that's why you got to come back to the Heavenly Father, Law, Statutes, and Commandments. Because this, this prepares you for manhood. Okay, a lot of, first and foremost, our, our men are, are being, uh, being spoon fed, man. Being, uh, just being uh, coddled, I, I believe you say. Being, being coddled, man. Because, and see that, real talk, that's why everybody has a problem with the uh, doctrine as well. When it comes to GMS, because, you know, the apostles went into the rape doctrine. And he was only going to that because when you have biological, uh, bi bi uh, biologically the age uh, age limit of when you become an adult. That's why you have what the bar, the bar, uh, uh, bond uh, bond mitzvah. A young man, the bar, I still like it. Bar bar, bar mitzvah. So when you have that, uh, so bar, bar mitzvah. The uh, when you have that, that's a coming of age. That's a coming of age. So actually, Tamir Rice was a young man. Uh, uh, Tyree King was a young man. Should, should he have been playing with that gun? No. Now, I, now I, I read the story. It's Esau, man. Everything's shaky, man. But if we know, because uh, for for most of us, man, we, we were raised when you were younger, you knew not to point objects at people. So why in the hell are you 13 with a damn toy gun trying to stick people up? To my Tamir Rice. No, not Tamir Rice. He, if I'm not mistaken, he was shit playing by himself. But still, we know the objective is that. That can get you killed. But like the brother was saying earlier over there, who's the root of the problem? The so-called white man. Now it's crazy that we alluded back to the so-called white man because I'm selling that bullshit. The so-called white man. Selling these toy guns, you 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 selling these toy guns, and, and you're and you're babying you're babying the nation of our men. That's why uh, John Singleton, uh, what's that movie, Baby Boy? That the, the the depiction of the so-called black man never grows up, which a lot of times some Negroes don't grow up, man. You know, like that Nas song, Second Childhood. Yeah. But but when a man himself with a level of austerity, you have a problem with it, man. That's why we have to come here and present ourselves as men. When we're at work, we present ourselves as men. When you're dealing with your children, okay? When you're uh, when you're uh, dealing with your woman, man. We, 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 it's 2016 and you got grown-ass Jake talking about, I'm a man. You know, damn, I want to cry, you know what I'm saying? No, no uh, Israelite man should have to say, I'm a, I'm a man to hit they chest, man. But that's that's the part of the curses. Can you continue reading about this one? Right, okay. Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, oh you transgressors. Yeah. You mind if I say something? Oh, yeah, kind of. When Christmas time comes, I want you to go and look at Colin Kaepernick's uh, Twitter account. When Halloween comes, go and look at his Twitter account. Man. That dude is out there. He's out there. I mean, yeah, he's standing up, but on that same note, it's a lesbian white chick on the soccer team. She's sitting down because of it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You ain't telling me something profound that the world is fucked up. I know the world is fucked up. But you sitting down, don't know what is that going to do for anything? It's, it's time to get yourself, like this says, show yourselves, men. Get out there on the highways and follow. That's right. If you're watching videos uh, and you're getting an understanding, you need to start pushing that. Leave the money behind, leave the fame behind, get out there. Then, then you'll, you'll, you'll hear positive things from myself anyway. Yeah. Anybody could tell you that it's wrong for the cops to be killing the so-called black people in the streets. Yeah. Everybody know that. Yeah. Y'all ain't selling the world nothing. That's right. It's the, the, the cat president from the Philippines. He over there going in yep. about uh, American policies being hypocritical. They talking about the war on drugs in the Philippines. I believe it was the president of the Philippines. He was like, look at you, up. Look at you people. Y'all yeah. been talking about war on drugs since Ronald Reagan. Yeah. That's the 80s. And, and drugs ain't doing did nothing but got better. Yeah. That's, uh, if I can say this, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jay-Z just spoke of a little short film, uh, The War on Drugs, an epic fail. How you, how you purposely, purposely bring laws just to keep Jake down, man. If I may say uh, this yeah. about him, it's, he perpetuating in his music yeah. the sale of drugs. Yeah. 
So as he's saying all that, it's like, bro, the only way that you can be commended is if you're speaking the truth out the top of your body. So even as, as he's telling about laws against drugs, it's almost like he's he's saying that to justify the sale of it. This, and but who's he selling the drugs to? People look just like him in the same project building. Same this, that, and other. Who's he selling that demonic music to? Yeah. It's another drug. Yeah. You gotta be out here on these highways and highways, man. That's right. it. It's a lot. Right? No, you could. It's, it's just, it's, it's a perfect point, man. And, you know, present your, man, what we got here? It's, it's just present yourself as a man. And that's, that seems to be a real, a big problem in America. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you know, you don't want to partake in certain shit, man. Like I say, man, look, man, brothers live a regular life, a normal life as you can possibly live over here and try to stay sane, man. When brothers got kids, brothers don't celebrate birthdays, but hey, we, we, we in captivity, you know what I'm saying? You may, you know, visit visit your child, you know what I'm saying? Slide them some money. But I know the brothers don't celebrate holidays, man. But they still, you know, having, being, being dignified, man. And not caving into this damn system, man. Okay? Oh, that, that was it on Okay, Remember the former things of old, uh -huh. for I am the most high, there is none else. That's right. I am the most high, there is none like me. That's right. Hey, remember remember uh, uh, former things, man. Former things talk about manly things in these scriptures, man. Keeping a beard on your face. Okay. Put fucking woman in check. Yeah, you know. Uh, and uh, just being a man about things, man, in your, in your daily life, man. One thing about this stupid ass country, they don't. This country don't promote family and shit, or manhood anymore. That shit is gone, man. They don't even promote manhood or be a man in your home, man. This is a hypocritical ass nation, man. I hate this goddamn man. They have a TV show called Modern Family, and the the, the new normal family huh. has homosexuals, yeah. has transgender, uh, has men transgender being men talking about they women, this that and other. Lesbians, like the brother said. All of that stuff is the new normal. Just a uh, yeah, man back. Like yeah, two and a half men. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, man? They don't just kind of promote family values and manhood, man. You get, yeah, you, you you get mad, and especially our people, man. You know, this this message is for any any and everybody. But guess what? It's totally and sincerely directed at the one third. Okay, those who are seeking truth, man. And it's also directed at two thirds, the world to let you know where you're going off at, man. Stand up, man. Cause uh, I'm, I'm reading a lot of comments on different threads, man. A lot of Jake know this word is going out and they know they Israelites. Posting scriptures, the most high, Judah, you know, uh, Judah this, uh, Benjamin this, you know, so on and so forth, man. You know, uh, I don't believe in religion, but I know the Bible is a history book. Our people need to turn back to it. Hey, my man, if you feel that way, do some lessons. Do, do some lessons, man. Do 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 whatever you have my Shemia Shah allows you to do. Okay? You may not you may not just come out just on the on the block yet. You may start off, you know, with some lessons and sit downs and like, okay, you know what? Maybe through the spirit the Lord will lead me to a camp in my city. You know? Do some sit downs, you know, at a park, you know, at a, in a uh, isolated area. Do what you got to lose, man. What, what you got to lose? Hell real talk, you really just trying to gain that manliness back because it's a low vibration going on man in this place man a sincere a sincere lowly vibration first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. That's right. I understood as a child. That's right. I thought as a child. Uh huh. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You put away childish things, man. You, you, you put away these childish things, man, such as black culture, man. We, we're, we're bigger than basketball and hip hop and singing, man. He, even though Jake is talented in that, you know what I'm saying? You want to do that, you know, we here. But first and foremost, push the word and the work of Yahweh by Shimeon Shah, man. Like the brother, yeah, like, like the brother always goes into, look, man, I, the, the apostles and the elders on down don't look to monitor over you. They are watchmen over the flock. 
They give words of encouragement, words of advice. They give you scriptures. They give you rebuke, reproof. Like you know, hey brother, you know, you know, just you know, just 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 know this, brother. You know, and that's it. And that's more than anything, you got like I say, you got some apostles and elders and heads and brothers of tent more forward than others. You got some just, hey brother, just you know, kind of light on it. You know, as far as like you know. The way the brother comes at it, you know, you may have a brother who's very loud in tone. You may have a brother like, well, yeah, man, you know, go about it like this. But yet, it's the same message. Get get your shit together, stand up like a man. You don't, know, you know, because because like you said, man, that, that that family values and that man manhood, it's it's out of there, man. No, like nobody va nobody values that. Now our people don't get it, man. I don't, I don't, I don't scratch my head like why don't they get it? I know why they don't get it, cause it's very sad. Our people scratching, our people are, are scratching for I don't know what, bro. Jake be reaching. Man. I don't even fuck with that. Yeah, people, right? our, our our women talking talking this uh, black economics BS. When you have uh, what's his name, Dr. Claude Anderson, he made he made like man, black people in America are doomed. We don't have no power, we don't own nothing, we're doomed. He said he's giving up on black people. And once again, if you know who he is, he had a pretty decent following, man. You should have been a give up on niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and like, I, yeah, you know, because I, I, I feel Jay, he, he, cause, uh, he, he's an older man, so he came yeah, up. Time, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? And so, hell yeah, he looking down, skinny jeans. Two niggas kissing on uh, purple hair and shit. Yeah. You know, the, the women are out of order. Just like this, I could like say that like for my like grandmothers and then this brother's father and you know and so on and so forth. A lot of things have changed. For for, for the worse. Okay, for, for the worse, man. So that's why you have to 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 be a man, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta stand up, man. And how do you stand up? On the highways and byways, man. Deal like a man in, in your daily life, man. And in real talk, it's, it's nothing hard about that, man. I know brothers work here and there. They they having what a uh, what's that called when everybody bring food? Uh, yeah, potluck. Oh, you know it's pork over there. No, I don't eat. I don't, I don't eat that. I, I'm I'm not fixed to break shit down. I don't eat that. It's not good for you. I'm over here. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll trick you. You'll end up biting into something. Yeah. You'll see that it has pork in it. But you have to say to yourself, fuck that. And even though I'm at mate, bit it a couple times, putting that shit down. Yeah. And everybody looking at you like, why well, you ain't eating the pizza? You do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you don't you know you don't deal uh with adultery. You, you hear Jake talk about adultery at work. You know, uh, but I will tell I'll tell Jake straight out of it, man. That nah that ain't the business. Nah, that's that's not my stilo, bro. I don't I don't try to follow after nobody if they been with a woman. Just tell them straight like that. And I, I can tell them that's worthy of death. What they gonna do, disagree? How many cases have you, from a young man, from a child to a man, and heard somebody getting their damn brains blown out? That, that's, that's a childish act. That's a wicked childish act. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when your mom went to bed, and she's like, you better have your ass in bed, and don't you be rambling through there, uh, be like, during the holidays, I try to get a little piece of cheesecake. Just like what like the brother say, the, the husband, he going out the front door, you you got one leg in, in his old in his old lady's house. <laughs> You're trying to creep in there. That's childish, bro. All these women out here, women are the, the our nation of women outnumber us. Yeah, they all women are always outnumber man and yeah. just the planet just, it's just the earth uh, existing. Yeah. So, so why so why in the hell you gonna get something that's already scooped up, man? Yeah, thank you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's very childish. America is childish. That's why that's why you have uh what's that the uh comic uh comic con what's it called brother? The uh the Vince Day Comic Cons? That's it, Comic yeah, yeah, comic cons when they dress up like Power Rangers and all. Oh, yeah, yeah. kind. All that BS, bro. That's childish shit. Yeah, it's good to speak about what, what it say. Follow your set in great dignity. Yeah, yeah, kind. Yeah. It's, it's set. It's set in great dignity, man. You know, like if you, hey, you got brothers who who, who are into uh, animation and technology, which is fine. But in America, it's it's delve into on a level of this is this is life. And, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta sit here and take you seriously with a Barney suit on or a Dragon Ball Z attire. 
Like, bro, you better get the hell out of my face. And I'm be the same people. If, if, if it's not a 